here we go. Let's get stuck into it. The FIFA 22 reveal trailer is now out. There's a lot to unpack in this about some new things added to the game and what we've seen so far with gameplay and with features. Career mode, pro clubs, a lot to get stuck into here. There's a lot to go into. So if you guys do enjoy, let's hit 2,000 likes on this video and also subscribe if you're new. This is a brutally honest video. Now, if you know me, I still enjoy and look forward to FIFA. My best part of FIFA is the first couple of weeks, the first month or two. That's when I really do enjoy FIFA. And I would love nothing more than for EA to prove me wrong and to give us something. I've, I'm seeing some Korean more stuff leaked. I'm seeing some Pro Club stuff leaked. So from a perspective of a FIFA content creator that I want to enjoy this game throughout the entire like cycle let's see what they have got to offer let's get stuck in yo it's me big nose do you want the best player on the game well you can't get demoni because he's probably not in fifa no. so get phil barsley get all the phil barsley so if you're looking for the best way to get coins don't spend few points go over to userbuy.com for the cheapest place on the market for your coins use code visit at checkout and most importantly enjoy the video this is a trailer i'm sure you've seen it i'm gonna like skim through it a bit here because i've already seen it i've cheated it i've not seen the websites and features but i've seen this already and um pretty much in essence it literally is just a video about their new high promotion technology. Now, I'm going to say, wow, this is in the background. I personally believe that this is going to be something that you could barely even tell a difference in the game. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't know this for sure, but from what we've seen before of how they big up these kind of features, it feels like it's just a, a, a buzzword to try and make it seem like it's a, it's a bit more different, it's a bit more intense than usual. We've seen this happen with several FIFAs, and I don't really want to pay too much attention to this hyper-motion technology. I don't know what that even really means. Like, oh, they're still wearing the same suits as they always have. I don't want to complain about it because I'm, I'm sure that this takes a lot of effort to go into it. As of all things that I think is really important to change with FIFA, I don't think this is the thing to really focus on. That's the way I see it. So it could be all cool and that. It could make a difference for all I know. I doubt it, honestly. I think more things should be changed. Like just them putting these swishers and these like little like technology things all over the place kind of makes it seem a bit more intense than what it really is. I just don't want to pay too much attention of this technology. So that's my standpoint on that. Here we go on the website and as I said this is a brutally honest review. Like if, I, if I'm impressed, I'm impressed. If I'm not, then I'm not. You see the tagline powered by football. I mean it's not going to be powered by cricket is it so you know I, yeah, that's expected the cover art with mbappe is actually really cool as a designer myself i think it's really nice so you know as a design perspective it seems cool um revolutionizing football gameplay uh, which is i mean i'm sure they said the same thing last year so fair enough uh, let's go down below here so number one here we go first thing is advanced 11 v 11 match capture so this is supposed to be taking the game and, and try and match tempo of this given how people move and how players move and try and put that into fifa which is i mean it sounds neat machine learning a cutting edge Propriety machine learning algorithm learns from over 8.7 million frames of advanced match capture which is again it sounds Cool. It sounds cool, doesn't it? All these fancy words. Organic, algorithm, cutting edge, propriety machine, whatever the that means. Like, cool. Like, I just care about the ball just not going through my player's legs. Yeah, you know, I just care about that. I care about my goalkeeper actually just making a save and holding the ball when I pass it back to him. That's what I care about. Honestly, that's like, you can have all these fancy buzzwords, but I just care about the ball just not going through my player's torso, really. Full team authentic motion. Et sense, whatever et sense means. Suits record every touch, tackle, sprint, and duel from over 22 players. Yes, we get that. You've already said that. Fam, this looks the same. Mate. Mate, I'm sorry. No. What? The, look at the CDM. They're barely even moving. Nah, EA, come on. You, you can't use this as an example. You surely can't use this as an example. Look at five. I think that's why I nailed him. He's barely even running back. There's literally two players behind him. He's a centre mid. Get behind. No, no, that you pissed me off. Look at the player that's to the right of Son here. I'm sorry, but he's jogging really right there. So great, CDMs, they don't run back. Um, so nothing's changed in that aspect. This is probably one of the worst clips you could have given. Tactical AI, deeper player intelligence. Oh, great. So blocks is amazing. Look, come on. Look how ridiculous that block is, man. 
Ah! Rewritten defensive AI gives teams the ability to act as a tactical unit, retaining their shape to move across the pitch and cover vacant space. They're literally not moving. What vacant space are they covering? The ones that's behind the attackers? Anyway, moving on. ML flow. What is ML flow? Learning from more than 8.7 million frames. Yes, you've already said that. You've seen the same things here, lad. The ML flow machine learning algorithm. You've, okay, they, they fucking love to say this learning algorithm, you know. I don't know what this sample is. It looks the same as what it does in this FIFA. I, okay. Kinetic air battles. I don't know what that even supposed to means. What does kinetic have to do with anything? Enhanced two-player interaction technology syncs play animations, creating greater realism and responsiveness as they fight to be the first of the ball. Cool. Uh, there's still more. Composed ball control. Longer two-touch animations make controlling the ball more natural and fluid than ever before. Do they? I, I, I take your words for it. Player humanization powered by advanced 11 feet. We get the 11 v 11 match capture. You can't keep saying it. Ambient behavior help bring on pitch characters to life. See upon us talk, point, and direct each other based on the action. Sure. And that's it. Right. I'm gonna be honest here, this always was a complete bunch of waffle. I'm sorry, but it's just it's just them saying the same thing over and over again. Like, okay, we get it. You got 11 v 11 match capture and learning algorithm of 8.7 million frames. We've got it. Now, Foot Heroes is now confirmed. We've got Mario Gomez in there and Melito. We didn't, we didn't actually see that. We've not seen Gomez and Melito. I did a video about that and... Okay, that, they're new. Mario Gomez, Tim Cahill, Melito, George Campos, Fernando Morientes, Sami Aljaba, a Saudi Arabian icon, actually. Abidi Pele, Clem Dempsey, Robbie Keane. We've already seen... We've already seen a few of them and there'll be more Foot Heroes in August, which is cool. However, it is kind of weird that they've got... Um, the league as their thing and not a club. Now, this is what I want to see, okay? Features, gameplay, career mode, Volta. <laughs> um, FUT and Pro Club, so gameplay. So we've already seen this, there's no point going through it. Career mode, full reveal coming soon. Is this online career mode? Is this online career mode? Live out your football dreams in FIFA 22 career mode as you create a club. You create a club! You create a club. So... Next year, it sounds like it'll be next year's online career mode, and this year is create a club and lead them from relegation candidates to the global giant and enjoy a overhaul player career experience that gives you more ways to progress, achieve, and immerse yourself in your pro's journey through the game. Oh, player career experience. Yo, that's not had a, like, a change to it since ever, so I actually don't even mind that. I don't think the player career mode has been changed since 2014. 14? I, I don't think there's been a single thing changed to it. If they're looking at the player pro thing, that's cool. That's cool, Dad. They've not said it, they've not said anything about creating over and create a club, which is, I mean, that's big. That's big, Dad. That. that should always be an option. Like, I don't know why that was never an option for like years. Volta football, which um, <laughs> they've literally just got one sentence. <laughs> They've literally just got one sentence. All right. Volta football returns with more flair all over the pitch and new ways to express your style. It just sounds like it's just, okay, we've got new clothing. L this literally sounds like, yeah, i got new clothing. More flair, new ways to express your style and connect with your squad. It literally sounds like, right, so it's the same thing as last year, but this time we've got new balance, um, different clothing. That's what it sounds like here. FUT, so Foot Heroes is confirmed. Foot 22 redesigns division rivals and foot champions to create a more accessible way to test your skills and progress against other players. Gives you even more ways to make your club your own and introduces Foot Heroes. So, Foot Champions has changed. So, would that be less games or more games or played in different days? I would love it if it's like you got another day. Like, if it's another day to play like 30 games, that'd be great there, actually. FUT is probably the one thing that needs the less attention. You because, like, that's completely fine. That's great. It's everything else. And then there's pro clubs, which they are wearing the same clothes as before. They've not even bothered to change the kit. That's f***ing great. With new customization options to make a club stand out in the stands. So, stadium, maybe. And on the pitch, a new player growth system that puts you in control of your virtual pros development. And streamlines social play that makes it easier than ever to find your next game. It's time to get the squad together for a new season of pro clubs. And that's it. Right, so... Um, I, I've got, I've not got much hope here, I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't really sound like it's, it sounds like everything they've always said, like, a new player growth system, so, I don't know what that even may mean, but career mode, it looks like there may be more about F, about career mode, that's good news, that. Overall, am I impressed? Um, I mean, I'm happy to hear Critter Club, this hype motion thing, I feel like, 
is kind of pointless. I'm not going to lie. I just kind of feel like, yeah, it's a buzzword to make it seem like it's even more intense. I guarantee the gameplay will feel the same thing um, or very, very similar. I don't think it's that intense, really. Um, I'm still waiting for cross-platform. Cross-platform, I'm, I'm surprised that they've not said it. And if they've not said it now, then I doubt it will happen. Um, cross-platform needs to be a thing at some stage. All I care about for me personally is that if servers are better, so I can play good gameplay. Um, that's all I care about. That's literally all I care about. I care about because the gameplay is actually decent at times on FUT. However, because of where I live, the gameplay isn't that good. I've done a video of me playing good gameplay on my channel. I love FIFA with good gameplay. Issue is I don't get it. That's what I really care about. It's, on, it's only a reveal trailer. It's only the initial like new look to it all. So I'm not going to look too much into it. It seems like it's like a normal kind of reveal, you get a one to watch player. I can look into what the items look like, but I don't think it's really that much of a big deal. I'm looking forward to seeing the news of career mode. Career mode, that's what I really care about. FUT, all it said is champs and the rivals, they won't be like a new mode in there, it sounds like. So there's nothing changed there. So there boys, that's my thoughts. Tell me what you think down below in the comments. I'll see you guys later on. Stay safe. My name is Viz, I'll see you next time.